so let me go into the same directory which were uh, working every time uh, where we have all the libraries under g05 that is my directory where we have all the libraries correct so now let me invoke the tool yes so once we open the library we can see uh, the database across which uh, this is my user defined library rest of them are uh, technology libraries so where in the user defined user defined library we have created all the schematics and this many cells we have uh, so let me select this one let me select this one under which we have a schematic that is one view and simulation is the another view so might be rest of the views also if you create will be there uh, there might be a layout or some other uh, views also will be there for the particular cell so now when you see this one all the views over here which are unlocked there will be having read and write permissions but only the case when we have common source amplifier if you click that you can see the preview but we don't have any write permissions only we have read permissions because like it is locked so now we have to know something about uh, creating a lock files across the schematic uh, uh, directory right so where uh, we can see that uh, so consider the team engineers working on the same schematic design let us suppose uh, I'm designing my my common source amplifier let us suppose uh, this is my common source amplifier where I'm working on uh, 50 PC actually so this is the total uh, login across the 50 PC so actually what I have done is like in the 50 PC I already opened that schematic I just it was opened right now so because that schematic is opened and uh, someone is working on that so that is the reason I cannot have the permissions to write it over here in this PC now so what happening is so when one engineer opens the schematic for editing uh, this file is automatically created it means uh, created it means it prevents the other engineers from the making the changes to the same schematic until the first engineer finish it means like at a time one engineer when he is doing the modification some other person also trying to do the same modification on same database it will not permit so that is why like a log file will be created in the particular directory so but the problem is when some engineer is working on that particular schematic other engineer cannot do it's okay but sometimes what happening is once like that engineer close that particular schematic also the log files will not be removed so that is the common problem we face it across the custom gambler too what we need to do uh, when log files are created what we have to do is uh, we have to know what to be done right so when we have a log files across the uh, across the library uh, we can see the same thing here also uh, when this kind of log file is created uh, we have to identify across the directory we can see the directory let me show you the directory under the home uh, g05 just remember that uh, the same directory will be opened every time for the accessing uh, Ganesh underscore lib1 that is the directory uh, user defined library that we have created under which we have all the cells so now common source amplifier CSA so if you give the double click on this one we can see the schematic directory under which you have multiple files and before that let me show uh, rest of the files differential amplifier if you open that uh, the schematic directory where we have the dot tag dot oa dot png these are the three files need to be maintained across the schematic directory of each and every cell but unfortunately what happened so this is the directory where we have where we have two more files also added these two are considered as a log files these two are considered as a log files these two files are created because like someone is accessing that uh, the same same schematic from some other user right but uh, the problem is like uh, I just opened it but I, 
I didn't close it properly so that's why like lock files for not remote after actually like after uh, close the particular schematic lock files need to be removed automatically but it is not remote so that's why when we open that when we open that same schematic once again uh, when we open the same schematic once again you will be facing the problem that Butler uh, schematic is getting locked so that's why we will not have any read permissions uh, sorry we will not have any write permissions we cannot modify this one and you cannot continue your analysis so now we will go with the solution as the solution it's saying uh, as the solution it's saying it is saying uh, we have to remove the lock files we have to remove the lock files let us see that uh, how you remove the lock files so now what we do is let me do the secure login one second so go to the patla directory home and uh, g05 ganesh underscore lib where we see the log files across this part of CMA schematic directory these two files need to be removed right now so use that rm command rm command and just give the path of the particular uh, file which need to be removed so just i click on this one uh, if you drag this one automatically you can see that uh, whatever the location that location will be copied here so remove the quotations here quotations here and give enter so it will ask you the permission uh, whether uh, it should be removed or not yes remove that so and uh, refresh it so that uh, first lock file is removed automatically let me do the same procedure for removing the rest rest of the lock files again right so this is another lock file let me remove yes give the confirmation yes and refresh so now after lock file is created lock files are removed so we can see that uh, whatever the tag file dot file and png file png file means it will be showing that a uh, preview of uh, whatever the schematic that we have so these three files will be there as it is the rest of the directories are maintaining these three files now this this directory also maintaining the three files so now we have the write permissions we'll see that uh, whether we will get a write permissions or not still we have in the lock mode itself what we do is we have to go with the file and do a refresh so then we can see that the schematic now it is ready to do some kind of modifications if you give the double click so that you can see that schematic and whatever the modifications you want that changing the resistance and you wanted to continue doing the analysis you can do it now